hey guys, Big Ben Motor Vlogs here. How is everybody doing? My voice is a little bit better today. Uh, pretty, oh, there, I think I'm putting a cross in it. My voice, yeah, is a little bit better today. This is pretty much the day after I uh, recorded yesterday. So, hope everybody is doing well. So, hopefully, by now, <laughs> I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this, probably in a few days or so. Uh, maybe even tomorrow, when I got my day off. I have changed cameras. Oh, I have bought a new one. I have bought a Drift Ghost S. So yeah, it's pretty cool, like. I'm probably wondering why, why did I go for this camera? I've been looking at a Drift for such a while, <laughs> such a while that I thought, oh, should I just take the plunge and try and get one? Me as well. So I got one for, um, well, it's for 206 quid with discount in the end. Obviously where I work. Uh, same really, if you wanted to get a Drift Ghost S, if you go on to, I believe it's Action Cams, or actioncameras.com, something like that, then um, you will actually be able to get one there. And if you do follow Spicy, he has a 10% off code for Action Cams. So you can get it for the same price that I did. Woo! But yeah, that's, I didn't read, and also the reason, obviously the other reason why I went for it is because how close it is to the helmet. I just love it. I forget that I've got a camera on my head, which is always a good thing because, you know, having a big cumbersome thing on your head isn't always the best thing. And I kind of then don't want to take the camera with me because it pulls my head back and it's, it's just not very nice, you know. So there, there's always reasons why, you know, I don't film certain things. And most of the time it's because of how big and cumbersome the bloody GoPro is on the side of my head. So that's normally the reason why. But yeah, I do love it so far. Uh, sorry about the quality of the last video. I've um, I've changed uh, my editing software. I've actually changed over to the Movie Studio Platinum. This is the Movie Studio Platinum 13, this one is. But I moved over uh, mainly because of the drift. Uh, the GoPro Studio will accept uh, the the footage. But because of all the like the double rendering you have to do, you, you have to render like the whole 13 min minute video, then cut it down within the within the software. It's just silly. So you know, with the, with the movie studio plan now, you know I can put it in and just cut it and then render it at the end. So it's much easier. Yeah. So pretty much the quality that I um, that I filmed in yesterday was 720 60 frames. Um, <laughs> but then when I went to edit it and uploaded to YouTube, you know, that a 10 minute video and then found out that it didn't actually render in 60 frames and I'm like, ah, oh. so I sent a message to Arif and I went I know now why you asked me before why my videos look better than yours it's because they render in 60 frames and yours don't so I was like, ah oh. yeah, so now this video will is actually in 1080p at the moment 1080p, 60 frames and it's on a high bit rate so I don't know what difference that is going to make to the video size, but hopefully um, I will, it'll be a lot better. And obviously there's a couple of reasons why I do like the drift as well. One, it is cheaper. Uh, two, it does actually come with two accessories that the GoPro doesn't from the straight off. Yeah, it comes with the mic, oh, it's like a mic adapter, it's a mic extender, which obviously from GoPro that is 20 quid. It also comes with the uh, with the, the strap thing. I don't actually use the strap at the moment, uh, due to obviously I want obviously want to keep the best out of the battery. So that's currently sort of like three hours. I believe it says you know I could do a 20 minute video, and the battery, to be honest, hasn't even moved from three. So it's brilliant. Yeah, it also yeah it comes with that strap. So it, you know you can play, pause. No, you can sorry you can. Um, Record and turn off, I believe, or record and pause. Yes, yeah, so it's a pretty cool little uh, thing on there. Uh, the back is pretty nice as well, actually, uh, because it's it's more likely not waterproof, probably water resistant to a certain amount. But I don't think you can submerge it, not go into anyway. Uh, so that may be like another little bit of a disadvantage to you if you were going to go for a drift over a GoPro, is that you cannot submerge this camera. But the little back it's got on it, it's got a standard back. And then the second back is more like a rubber back. Um, so you can actually put your mic in um, and your USB charge cable if needed without having to take it back off. It's got like little rubber covers. You can, so it's pretty cool. I do like it. So hopefully, with this mic sensitivity uh, business they got on the drifts, 
uh, they got settings from obviously one to three and with this mic it crackles so hope what, well what I'm hoping anyway is that because now I got on 1080p it's about double the sound bitrate so I'm hoping it doesn't actually crackle as much or maybe it's my mic so I may be in the market for a new mic as well who knows uh, but anyway guys um, give me your thoughts on drift now like I said because this is sort of like the second time I'm properly doing a vlog on it uh, what do you think this uh, sort of like this quality looks compared to uh, my GoPro you know I, I say I think the GoPro is slightly better with the quality um, but I do find this just a lot easier to vlog with you know what the difference in the size is I'll try and put a photo up on um, on Twitter as well I'll put the GoPro back on the helmet and I'll obviously keep this one on I can actually see if I can show you the the difference in uh, difference in what it actually looks like on the side of the helmet so anyway guys I um, I'm at work again <laughs> And I hope you have a good day, and I will speak to you uh, very soon, guys. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye, uh, guys. Yeah. Well, that's the difference what the GoPro, uh, the drift looks like on the side of the helmet. I don't know why you close that for. Yeah, but there's a big difference. The GoPro normally comes out here-wise, so it's quite a big difference in what the, what it looks like on the side. So it's pretty cool, guys.